there was a, a very important study done a while ago at uh, Princeton Theological Seminary that speaks to why it is that when all of us have so many opportunities to help, we, we do sometimes and we don't other times. A group of divinity students at the Princeton Theological Seminary were told that they were going to um, give a practice sermon and they were each given a sermon topic. Half of those students were given as a topic the parable of the Good Samaritan, the man who stopped the stranger in, to help the stranger in need by the side of the road. Half were given random Bible topics. Then one by one they're told they had to go to another building and give their sermon. As they went from the first building to the second, each of them passed a man who was bent over and moaning, clearly in need. The question is, did they stop to help? The more interesting question is, did it matter they were contemplating the parable of the Good Samaritan? Answer, no, not at all. What turned out to determine whether someone would stop and help a stranger in need was how much of a hurry they thought they were in. Did they, were, were they feeling they were late? Or were they s absorbed in what they were gonna talk about? And this is, I think, the predicament of our lives, that we don't take every opportunity to help because our focus is in the wrong direction. There's a new field in brain science, social neuroscience, that studies the circuitry in two people's brains that activates while they interact. And the new thinking about compassion from social neuroscience is that our default wiring is to help. That is to say, if we attend to the other person, we automatically empathize, we automatically feel with them. They're these newly identified neurons, mirror neurons, that act like a neural Wi-Fi, activating in our brain exactly the areas activated in theirs. We feel with automatically. And if that person is in need, if that person is suffering, we're automatically prepared to help. At least that's the argument. But then the question is, why don't we? And I think this speaks to a spectrum that goes from complete self-absorption to noticing, to empathy, and to compassion. And the simple fact is, if we are focused on ourselves, if we're preoccupied, as we so often are throughout the day, we don't really fully notice the other. And this difference between the self and the other focus can be very subtle.